open your mind. Hey out there, this is Buzz with the Survival Buzz. So I wanted to give you guys a little what if scenario Kind of give you my take on it and then see what you guys think you can leave me some comments down there and let me know but uh it seems like it's been a long time coming i know there was a lot of skeptics when credit cards and things started you know coming around and then of course you have things like paypal cash app venmo that sort of thing and then like i uh like i mentioned in a few videos you know the one on world coin and then the Fed now. Um, digital currencies are are a thing in the future, and it's it's inevitable at this point that that's what we're going to be stuck with. Hopefully, later than sooner. But the way things look, it's hard to tell. Really, it could happen any day. But with the dollar just devaluing on a daily basis, the whole system's coming down. The cards are falling. And it seems just inevitable that this is going to happen. I hope we have more time, but honestly, just the way things are rolling out so fast, I think it's going to be here very soon. So that brings me to my point. My question for you guys is, what does that look like exactly? What does it look like when you all of a sudden force people, let's say, do biometrics, scan your eyeball, to purchase something and have a digital currency, right? And then eventually UBI, universal basic income, and they control every facet of, of your being as far as your purchase power, what you buy and sell. I would imagine, you know, there's gonna be a, a the majority of people are probably just gonna go along to get along, but I'd go as far as to say that millions, if not tens of millions of people are gonna say no. They're going to say no. And it's actually going to be a lot harder of a situation, I feel like, than the whole jab one. Um, as many of you probably know that wa have been watching for a long time, you know, I lost a really good paying job because I wasn't willing to take the jab. And I wasn't willing to take weekly tests that I paid for and scheduled on my own time and wear a mask 24-7. I walked right out of my job. And as hard as that was, when you start thinking about what I'm talking about, is it's going to be a lot harder than that. You know, it's easy to, or it's not easy, but it was easier to quit a good paying job knowing that I can get another job, you know, I'm, it's, it all pays money, right? But what if you're faced with having to do the biometrics, having to be signed on all of that just to buy and sell things? And these millions of people that are gonna say no, they're gonna lose their mortgages, they're gonna lose their houses, cars, things like that. So it kind of makes you wonder, what does that look like exactly? You know, millions of people get foreclosed on their house. Are they gonna come around wanting their house back? I mean, are they gonna bring in the National Guard? What are they gonna to do to alleviate this problem? And this is a question that ponders me a lot. And I don't know if people really think about that. What What are you gonna do in that situation? Are you just gonna buckle? Are you gonna have your eyeball scanned and be put in a system? You know, regardless whether there's a chip in your hand or in your forehead or whatever, regardless of that, it's still part of a beast system, I feel like. So I want your guys' thoughts on this. Like I said, leave a comment, let me know what you think. But I would think that that would be the most civil unrest that we could possibly see at that point is if millions of people lost their home in an instant. I mean, heck, there's already a lot of people losing their homes because they can't afford them. But you throw that in the mix, people that aren't willing to bow at the knee. Uh, I just don't know what would happen, man. I, I honestly think that would begin be the beginning of all the chaos in the streets. So let me know what you guys think. 
God bless you all, and I'll catch you on the flip side later.